all the dead deers. Rigged poker stiff on her back with a granite grin, this antique museum cased lady lies, companioned by the gym crack relics of a mouse and a shrew that battened for a day on her ankle bone. These three unmasked now bear dry witness to the gross eating game we'd wink at if we didn't hear stars grinding crumb by crumb our own grist down to its bony face. How they grip us through thin and thick, these barnacle dead. This lady here's no kin of mine, yet kin she is. She'll suck blood and whistle my marrow clean to prove it. As I think now of her head, from the mercury-backed glass, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, reach hag hands to haul me in, and an image looms under the fish-pond surface where the daft father went down with orange duck feet winnowing his hair. All the long-gone darlings, they get back, though, soon, soon, be it by wake, Weddings, childbirths, or a family barbecue. Any touch, taste, tangs fit for those outlaws to ride home on and to sanctuary. Usurping the armchair between tick and tack of the clock until we go, each skulled and cross-boned gulliver riddled with ghosts to lie, deadlocked with them, taking root as cradles rock.